here's a good learning moment on this Porsche. And I forgot what Porsche this is. It's whatever this Porsche is. You guys who are Porsche guys know what this is. I, I sure the hell don't. Um, so we have 110, we have 103. Well, if somebody was to trying to determine, uh, is my system full or not? What's the ambient temperature? Oh, well, if our ambient temperature is, you know, 90 some degrees, or we have a warm engine, you would have absolutely no way of telling whether the system is full. I could have one ounce of liquid refrigerant in here, or I could have one pound of liquid refrigerant in here. As long as I have one drop of liquid refrigerant, I would get the exact same pressure now as I would with one drop or one pound. Makes no difference at all. So you cannot use pressure. And on some systems, you use the little uh, jack-off can from AC Pro with the little low side gauge. So you're only looking at the low side, so you wouldn't be looking at this. And on some hard shutoff valves, the expansion valves, literally keep almost 100 PSI, sometimes 50, sometimes 70, sometimes 100 PSI difference from the high side to the low side. So if you were using one of those little cans and you hooked up on the low side and you were on a fairly warm car, say it was 80 degrees and you hooked up but your car was running and you hooked up and you see that it was only like 65 psi on the low side and you wouldn't know that it's 140 psi or something like that on the high side you wouldn't know that because it has a hard shut off expansion valve on that particular system so you might think it's low if you're trying to take static pressure you do not use static pressure as an indication of whether your system is charged or not and uh, I'm gonna find out a little bit on this system because supposedly this vehicle, the customer watched one of the AC uh, Pro Grand Auto things and uh, tried to do a recharge themselves. So we're gonna find out what's on the system. I just hooked up right now. You're seeing what I'm seeing and we're gonna see what I find out once I start it up. So be back on the next video when I start it up and see if we can find out why it's not working.